years. And Lisa Stark, thank you very much. I want to go back now to our transportation contributor, Todd Curtis. Briefly, Todd, we talked about what is going on right now inside the military minds, the political minds of Washington. What is going on right now inside the aviation industry? Well, one part of the industry that's probably going to take some very quick changes is the insurance industry. Those companies that insure aircraft will probably say, don't fly anywhere near here right now. And Todd, I'm sorry, but my producer was talking to me. You say the insurance industry is going to be looking at changes. Any other changes you might see as far as pilots are concerned? Well, certainly, uh, pilots, whoever they may be flying for, will be looking at their route maps, talking with their, their, their bosses and saying, look, we think, in our opinion, this is too risky. For now, until this cools down, let's take another route. And Todd, the other thing that so many people are talking about is Malaysian Airlines. This is being the second incident involving Malaysian Airlines this year. Can an airline recover from something so catastrophic happening so, happening so close, back to back, back to back incidents? There was Malaysian Flight 370 with the passengers on board and that plane is still missing and now there is this. I think they will if there is no uh, insight or input from the Malaysian airliner uh, company, Malaysian Airlines, that caused this. For example, was there a decision process in the airline that in retrospect may have been seen to be too risky? If that was the case here, then maybe they'll have a hard time recovering from this. Todd uh, Curtis, our, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, Todd, one more thing. It's David Schuster here. There's some uh, video that's coming in, and we're starting to get a trickle of video from people at the scene. And, and one of the videos that we just saw, and we don't have it loaded yet, but you can actually see some of the debris. Uh, you see the plume of smoke on the ground, and then you see debris falling literally straight down. Um, what would that indicate to you in terms of uh, a catastrophic event or something gradual? It would say to me that there was some sort of in-flight breakup whether it happened immediately at the point of contact when the missile hit it or whether the airplane fell apart at some point in its path, that remains to be seen. But uh, falling debris means the aircraft was not intact, probably a fairly catastrophic explosion.